Did it again. Wrong side. Come on, since I'm down here. Let's try. Kill that guy. Wait, let's kill this dog first. Okay. Killed that dog, nobody reacted. Now we kill this dog. Can't backstab a dog, oddly enough. I don't know why I'm choosing to use a knife for this, but it'll be more useful against him. Wait, he's not friends with these guys. Oh well, whatever. Oh, Morning Star. Hey! Compliments my flail. I wonder if it's better. Hide in the bushes. I mean, if the enemies didn't see me where I was, they probably wouldn't see me there anyway. 12 strength. I'm gonna stick with the flail. I'm surprised that the flail requires 18 decks. Whoa, where'd you come from, doggy? Got you. Now that soldier is an enemy. These guys will get mad if they see me, right? They don't seem to care. They're just resting. Hey, you guys. You guys care, though, don't you? Oh, they're coming after me. Strip of white flesh. Dang it. Now let's see. Okay, so I triggered him. Will he and the misbegotten fight? That's what I want to know. The giant doesn't seem to care about me. Ooh, I cannot summon the jellyfish right now. <laughs> okay then. Got quite an interesting group of characters here. No, I cannot do that. Do not have enough time to do it. Ooh. I've got 4,000 runes, too. Maybe let's not pick random fights like this. Got you. Missed. There we go. Ah, you took. You sidestepped. You sidestepped me, doggy. Gotcha. Well, 
What happened with that soldier? Did he just go back to where he was sitting before? No. Does not appear so. He must have just gotten into a fight with that misbegotten. Alright, giant. I'm gonna assume that only good things come from attacking you. A big empty chest cavity. Oh, yeah, you're going after the jellyfish. You have a very odd anatomy there. Okay, that got me. You're poisoned now. They're pretty, pretty healthy. Okay. And... Yes, I do that. Right in the face. Oh, sword time. Gotcha. I don't know if it was me, or the poison. What'd I get out of that? Nothing? I got a chunk of runes. Not a small amount of runes, anyway. Alright, well. Let's pull these guys. Oh, yeah. He just went back to what he was doing before. With almost zero health. Let the jellyfish take a kill. Just felt the need to jump over that chest high wall. I know, I know, this game's still new to me too. Whoa! I didn't even see you. He didn't... He tried to ambush me, but he just couldn't take the jellyfish. The jellyfish backup was very useful in that situation. Get a lot of these rune fragments. Pretty sure there were some more enemies up around here to kill. Last time I was here. Oh, jellyfish is done. Well, I appreciate your your service there, jellyfish. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is just the wall. This isn't the castle that she was talking about. And here's our buddy from before. Oh, hey, I didn't realize there was a place for Torrent to jump up. Yes. I will buy you buy some arrows of your from your finest arrows. Can I spend that all on arrows? No, let's level up first. We'll level up and then buy arrows. I'm not sure what I want to level up though. Hmm. Could 
pump dexterity a little bit more. Okay, why not? We'll do it. Alright, good sir. I will buy some of your fame. Buy me some of your famous arrows. I was gonna say finest, but then, you know, I'd rather have the famous ones. Not the finest ones. Say as I just buy some kukris instead. Now we'll go with the arrows. Actually, I don't have. I have eight kukris. I'd rather have more arrows. Okay, well. It does kind of bug me that I went looking for that girl's father and never found him. Okay, so. We could do Castle Morn. There. Oh, and I was totally going to check out this tower and then kind of forgot. Maybe her father is the Red Lionel? Le Lionel? No, Leon. I don't know. Beside Rampart Gal. Let's check it out. <clears throat> let's let's try him again. Because I don't I don't think we gave him an honest we didn't give him an honest try. I'm a bit more powerful now and also a bit more well versed in the game. Seventeen runes. Stocked up on enough arrows for now. I have the power of God and Jellyfish on my side. Ah, can't just walk around. I have to go through here. Alrighty. I'll meet your maker. Red Lionel. Misbegotten. Ooh, he is feisty. Okay. He is a high damage enemy. If you let him attack you, then you're likely to die. I'm starting to remember why I didn't finish fighting him. Hmm. Bet he can just buy those sleep arrows. That'd be handy. Excuse me. I could go for some arrow cheese. We can see how effective that might be. actually expect him to be able to jump up like that. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, camera. Arrows do decent damage to him, though. I'm surprised. Running swing. That is. That will be a tricky one to avoid. <clears throat> yeah, this doesn't feel like a cheese. This feels like a. Okay, actually. This is this is a legit way to play, but at the same time, you can't turn off your brain when you're doing it. We'll try. We'll give it a we'll give it a decent try. The jellyfish is a good strat. 
Bow and arrow is a good strat. Oh. oh. Come on. No, don't just kill my jellyfish. That's just mean. You think you're gas coin? Is that what you think you are? <laughs> he doesn't like getting spit at. I can't use my jellyfish this way though. Because it's not gonna take too many hits from him. Oh. Oh. I thought that was a stagger that I could. Okay. Ooh. That was interesting. That was like, I kind of like held my shield up and he pushed me to the side without actually attacking me. Proper. That's one of the golems. I was wondering about that before. First time I saw that. 78 arrows. Oh. Can't shoot them down. I was wondering. I wasn't really expecting it, but still. Is that something you did have in Dark Souls 3? Is enemies, well, characters hanging from trees that you could shoot down? Usually in, like, wrapped up in eggs, though. Ooh, okay, a running swing. Handy. I'm out of stamina though. The best time to attack him seems to be when he's getting ready to attack. Or when he's close enough. Leonine, that's his name. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to bury that. Ooh, okay. So well, yeah, this fight is this fight is doable. He does get poisoned after a little while from the jellyfish, so that's useful too. So even if he does kill the jellyfish, the jellyfish can still do decent damage over time with its poison. I'd rather it him not kill the jellyfish. Also, this strategy is using up my arrows. I'm at 58, so I just used about 20 arrows. should probably think about upgrading my weapons a little more, because they're at just plus ones. Oof. Man. Aha. Oh, jellyfish! Ooh, no. 
That one's no good. I, was on, I didn't even let off that many arrows that time either. I should try to do more hand-to-hand -hand combat with them, though. Not hand-to-hand, -hand, but melee combat. I could try a cast as build, too. I'm just not at the point in the game where it's super easy to find upgrade materials yet. Got my jellyfish. Here we go. Just walking backwards is not a great plan in the long term, because you can't see where you're going. That was multiple times I just started walking back up into some debris that was blocking me. Didn't get poisoned that time. Didn't fight him for long enough. Alright, so I think we're going to do this. Because that one fight, I got him down to a third. That felt pretty good. I felt like that made it feel like it was doable. Although if it's going to take a couple more tries, I'm going to need to buy a lot more arrows. Stamina. I could get a one or two bleeds on him. That'd be nice, too. Oh. Fish egg rotum? Yes. Haha. <laughs> Is that if I can draw aggro on him? Often enough that he doesn't beat up on the jellyfish? Then the jellyfish doesn't have to die. Okay. I don't think that was not worth it, was it? No, it was not. Like I said, getting a couple of bleeds on him wouldn't hurt either. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Did I shoot my own jellyfish? Dang it. Alright, here we go. EO9. This buckler is no good for shield. Against him. Ooh. I get surprised when... I do something stupid and don't get immediately punished for it. He is... Did I do this? <laughs> oh, that's great. Grafted Blade Greatsword. Oh, okay. This is... 
This is the sword that I've seen pictures of. Yeah, that's okay. What the fuck is this? What is this bullshit? Just stapled a bunch of swords together. That's not how it works. The blacksmiths of this era are just insane. Yeah, that's just nonsensical. You can't just staple a bunch of swords together. I still kind of love it, though. Alright, back to the flail. Back to, like, a sensible weapon. Which, you know, is... In real life, was a nonsensical weapon, but compared to some of the weapons in this game, it makes sense. It's like, it seems realistic enough. Uh, let's look around here a little bit. Because this just seems like a large area for the amount of fight I had to do in it. I always check behind. When you see a giant tombstone, I always check behind it. Because that's how you get... I think it's the Hornet's Ring? In DS1? And here are, here are some, like, obstacles and stuff just made for the boss to destroy mid-fight. Alright. What do we get for... Oh yeah, we can... Wow. I'm surprised he was worth that many. Maybe I did kind of cheese him to some degree. I'm gonna use all of that to buy arrows. I still haven't found that girl's father. Go back here, buy some arrows, and then explore Castle Morn a little bit more. Sleeping Peninsula. Trade again. Trade again. Excellent. All arrows. <laughs> That feels somehow appropriate, given the way that boss fight went. Should I go for the lift, or should I go here? Mm. Oh, the lift. Okay. Have to pull down the lift. Oh, for a second I thought that was a ladder. So yeah. I don't know what the deal is with that girl's father. What is that? Is that a thing? Is that a place I can go, or is that just... Maybe it's just architecture. Well, I'm pretty happy with my character so far. I'm not going to send that back down. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, you're going that way. Ooh. But why are you flying around here? You don't you don't normally go down here. What's with that? I feel like that's an unintended side effect of some other AI behavior. Come on. Oh, he... Oh, he's, he wants to go back to his area. He's outside of his normal AI area. Oh. No. Got a side strafe in the sky. 
Sky straight. Oh, backing up. Gotcha. That's better. Um, I think there's a couple of guys up here to kill. I did not kill them the first time I was here. Is it just the dog? No, there's more than one. Ooh, that killed? That hit him. Man. Dude, not cool. I wasn't expecting the dog to give me that much trouble. That's kind of like one of those, like, oh, I gotta clear out these enemies just to be safe, and then end up dying from that. Something stupid. That's okay. Not like I really lost anything there. It's 100 runes, not a huge risk. Okay, maybe I will send the elevator down this time. Oh, it is... Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna take a break. Alright. Ducky. Oh. Went up this way. You like going up the stairs? Got you. Am I relying a little too much on the arrows? Maybe. you. It's a nice, nice thing about the flail. If they sidestep, they're still within range. They did not avoid your, your second attack. If they backstep, then they might be out of range. Oh, come on. It's the same dog. What the hell? I'm going to try something a little different. Let's try something just a little bit different. You can't parry a dog. Flame Crest Wooden Shield. A tall, medium-sized wooden shield. Light for its size and easy to handle. Carried by soldiers on the village that is afflicted by frenzy. The yellow flame is the symbol of the affliction, serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. And it lets you parry. This one has no skill. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Because nope. then, I can do this. Without having to two-hand my flail. So I'm not going to try to parry these dogs. Ooh, you can just feel the frame rate just chunk down when I enter this area. I'm just going to tag you. I feel like if you see a dog on patrol, it's good to just take it out before it finds you doing something. There we go. Fuck you. 
there anything else to investigate here? I think I've, yeah, I've already investigated this area. I didn't need to come up here. I might switch back to the buckler. I don't want to accidentally attempt a parry and then embarrass myself. Zip past these guys. They don't have to know. They don't have to know at all. There's a guy. There's a guy close by. Nope. Not in this room, at least. In the next room. Ooh. Taking them on both at the same time is not the best. Ooh. Okay, that got me good. Yeah. No, overhead attack like that. That got me good. Okay. It was like... I can just get one more hit in on him. But he was already up in the air above my head. I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, what am I doing? I was about to pull the lever. What I should do is just run in and backstab one of them. Then that soldier will probably do a little bit more damage before dying. And then I can finish off the remaining one. Sneaking run, sneaking run, sneaking run, because it's fun. Alright. Do 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 do. Oh, wrong one. Ooh. Oh, hello. Soldier has joined the battle. Oh. We're supposed to fight each other. What the hell? I feel somewhat cheated. I was like... Plan didn't go according... It didn't go according to plan, but I still achieved my objective and then got punished for it. That's what it felt like just happened. The first step didn't work. The second and third step did work. No. I guess the third step was me finishing off the remaining one, which is not how it happened. Might as well grab that smoldering butterfly while I'm passing by. And no, that one wasn't supposed to rhyme. Go for the one on the right. Ooh. Fuck me. Guess I forgot how tough these guys are. Can I summon? before coming in here, and will my summon follow me? Because if that's the case, that would be kind of handy. Ooh, I did not send back the elevator. We will give it one more try. And then I'll probably take a break. I like how you see the individual arrow types in your 
in your bow, in your quiver. Thinking, thinking. And I get a little bit tripped up on the geometry there sometimes. It slows me down just enough to think, hmm, are they going to attack me? Alright, jellyfish, will you follow me here? Why are you going invisible? Oh, he like the the HUD is also going invisible. I guess that's to indicate I'm out of out of the zone for the jellyfish. If I go back out here, yeah, it stays solid. Oh, okay, I guess the jellyfish can't follow me. Fair enough. All right, so this time I'm gonna go for the one on the left. Okay, well. Ah, no. The ladder wasn't gonna work. Did he kill his- oh, for a second I thought he killed his friend. Alright. Take a break, and I'll probably be back at this in a little while. Pretty game though. I'm enjoying it.